Lions TV, this is the Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip views and transfer news from in and around the Den. Last week, I posted a video on the fact that Queen's Park Rangers were interested, allegedly, in Danny McNamara. It come from more than one source, reliable ones as well, so I ran the video and some people didn't like that. Right? Some people didn't like that. They accused me of lying. They accused me of making this rumour up. This geezer thinks he fucking knows everything. Uh, strange place, Twitter. Luckily, I live in the real world. So let me just tell you this. This is a Millwall News channel. I report the Millwall News. Some you might like. Some you fucking might not. But make no mistake, it has developed. And Queen's Park Rangers have put in a bid for Danny McNamara. Now, let's just start by saying... I don't want Danny McNamara to go anywhere. You don't want Danny McNamara to go anywhere. The club don't because they've rejected it and they seem to have a lot of newfound ambition this season. And Danny McNamara is born and bred a Mill fan. So I'm pretty confident that Dan's not going to want to go anywhere either. However, the interest is real. So let's not all fucking bury our head in the sands and carry on like a load of pricks on Twitter because it is happening. Clubs are interested in our talent. That's testament to Dan because he's done fucking fantastic in a very short space of time. And there is, you know, rumours of, of all sorts of clubs coming in for him. I strongly believe, unfortunately, this is life, this will be adults, that unfortunately, at some point in the future, if he continues to develop and impress like he has, a Premier League club will make a bid that will be out of our control and we will have to sell him. So, as I've said before, let's get things in place. I believe his current contract has uh, a season, this season and next season to run. But let me also explain a little bit about football to the absolute fucking brain deads out there, okay? This is how it works in football. A player does well, okay? He's under contract. If he progresses to a new level, like Matt Namara has over the last season, his stock then becomes high. Clubs show interest. The player not only needs to be rewarded for his service and his outstanding ability on the pitch, but also we need to protect ourselves as a club from new interest, new interest that wouldn't have been there when Danny McNamara come back on loan, new interest from bigger clubs than QPR, new interest from the Premier League. So let's not have another just situation, right? This isn't a video for me trying to get views for the fucking idiots out there thinking that's what I'm doing. This is a Millwall News channel. As I've said, I report the Millwall News. I'm in a fucking bad mood today, so why not? Let's not be happy, clapping and smiling. Let's actually have a, a little bit of cards on the table for once. Right, look, the, 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 the threat is real, right? So let's make sure that we get Dan tied down to a new contract. He's going to need a new contract because the one he's signed is probably now not in keeping with the, with the level of player that he is and will become. So get the cards on the table, get him in, get him signed on a long-term contract and protect ourselves because let's not forget, we could have sold Jeb Wallace for about £8 million and he walked out the fucking door for free and went to West Brom. So last case, worst case scenario is we don't want to lose Danny McNamara. We'd all love him to become a Millwall legend, a Millwall club captain, and start and finish his career at Millwall Football Club. Unfortunately, that's not living in the real world. And at one point, it probably will happen. So I don't think it will happen from QPR, and it's cheeky from them. 700 grand, no chance. Bid near a five, we might think about it. But even then, you know, at the minute, absolutely not the right move for McNamara in his career. But make no mistake, at some point, if he progresses like he has for the next two years like he has over the last two years, then those clubs will come calling and it will be time for him to move on in his career. And that is life. And that is football. Okay, whether he's a Millwall fan or not, it will be out of his hands and the club would sell him. You know, and, and nothing against the club. Again, this is, it's a business. Football is a business. Millwall Football Club is a functioning business. That's why they've been going for so long. So look, the news is, like it or not, I'm sorry to tell you, Queen's Park Rangers have bid for Danny McNamara and it has been rejected. I don't expect him to go to Queen's Park Rangers for one minute but let's, let's put these fires out early and get the legend tied down to a long-term contract. I'm going to have an early night now. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.